when I was in high school, I was uh, 17. Uh, <laughs> when I was in high school, um, we, a group of us at, in, in, uh, in my form, were really interested in theatre. And we just had, we used to study plays in school, uh, as in study them. We, we read them as if they were books, uh, didn't act them, uh, which always struck me as odd. It would be like having a music class where you just sat and read music scores all day long and nobody ever put a record on. But uh, a group of us decided we'd like to put a play on. And we, we did. We did it after hours and put it on the school hall. But we asked one of the teachers if he would direct it and he agreed to do that. And uh, it went very well. And the following year we did another one. Or maybe later on the same year we did a second play. And he directed that too. So we all got the hang of it, and you know we sold tickets, printed tickets, put the show on. I was stage manager, and I was in one of them. And then it came up a third time, and we said to him, "Would you direct it?" And he said, "You know, I can't. I haven't got time to do it." And we gathered the whole group together that was going to be in the play, including some actual girls from the uh, our girl, the girls' school across the playground. We had never actually met girls in person before, but we'd heard of them. So they came in. They said, "We're going to do the importance of being earnest." We'd assemble this cast, and we asked. He said, I, I, "I won't direct it, but I will help you cast it." We said, "Okay." So we sat around, and he gave out all these parts, and all the best parts went. We're kind of right down to Lane the Butler. You know, who comes in three or four times. Though. That'll be me. Then my mate Alan got the part of Lane the Butler. So I thought, "Well, I'm stage managing again." So I was all kind of, you know, I was, I was being very courageous about it and dealing with it and thinking you know, at some point I'll, I'll pay somebody to listen to this. And then he said, so you know, I, I did say I couldn't direct the play this year, but I do have a suggestion, I think Ken should direct it. Well, I nearly passed out because it had never crossed my mind that I could direct a play or that anyone in the group would agree to it. I just didn't feel I had that relationship with them. I thought, no, the director is somebody who has to preside over this whole thing. But they all just looked around and said, great idea, great. And I was terrified. But you know, I learned a long time ago that you shouldn't walk away from things that trouble you. you know, the best way to deal with the fear is to go straight towards it and try and get hold of it. And I was intrigued by the idea of directing a play, and so I did. And, uh, I'd, and then I went on to direct lots of plays at, as a student. But it was just, it was, to me, it was a really important moment because it just illustrates, I thought about later on when I was working on the Element books, that sometimes other people see in you things you don't recognize in yourself. They can see a strength or an ability that you didn't even know you had. And much less, if you, even if you knew it, you may not have any confidence in it. And he was just, he, he, to him it was just straightforward, yeah, obviously you could direct this play. And you should. And it took that, you know, somebody to have that confidence and to push me to do it, uh, and uh, for me to do it at all. But it opened a whole, whole field of interest. And not least in the place of drama in schools and why it mattered. And that I end up going to an arts college and doing theatre and English, uh, partly because of that experience. And, probably doing what I do now, can be traced back to some extent to that little divergent point. And if he'd not said, will you direct the play, I'd probably be running a bar somewhere now in Warrington.